what is called database testing and what is the need of doing db testing and the sql select statement to work with database testing so majorly three topics we are going to cover today and tomorrow what is db testing what is the need of performing db testing and the basic sql select statement which is required to conduct db testing okay let us start the topic what is database testing what is database testing <clears throat> yes you answer me what is called database testing don't say testing the database is called database testing anyone what is database testing any online team member try to answer this don't google and also okay hello yes the testing which is performed using uh, any data like any information uh, within company or uh, related to testing which is required for testing okay let me explain this in this application i am asked to check the new branch creation functionality working or not say so we are testing a functionality in this primus bank application admin module new branch registration functionality working properly or not i go to branches click new branch enter some branch name some branch name i am entering some sample data i am giving begum pen i click submit the application showing a message the new branch created successfully with the branch id 405 what is your data now we are asked to verify the new branch registration functionality working properly or not i created a new branch and click submit button i received a message from the application new branch created so what is your data now it's working or not working working you need to working check in the analytics <laughs> working on what basis you decided on what basis you are saying it's working so on what basis you are saying it is working you said working by this pop up based on this alert pop up system displayed a message new branch sir are you talking sir you are not audible from my end it is clear remaining people i am audible or not audible 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 sir audible sir audible sir audible sir right 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 <laughs> okay i enter some details and click submit button while creating a new branch application showing a message new branch created successfully based on the message you are saying the functionality working new branch registration functionality working okay try to understand this i open a notepad i am writing a simple web scripting statement 
If it is AV scripting, message box. If it is JavaScript, alert. New branch created successfully. Only one statement. I save this code, maybe in my desktop, with a name, say demo.vbs something, vbscript. VBS is the extension for this script. This is the code I created. Let me show you this once again. This is the statement. Generally, VBScript, JavaScript, by double click, you can able to run the code. I'm just double clicking it. I received an alert new branch created successfully. Is any branch created now? No. No. Is any branch created now? No. The point what I'm trying to highlight here, whatever the alerts, whatever the pop-ups, whatever the messages you see in the applications, all our programming techniques, not a confirmation from the database. Generally, what is expected? You created a new branch. Whatever the details you have given, the data must be stored in the database of the product, right? Finally, any business application data must be finally stored in the database, whatever the message it can be. Did you verify whether the data properly stored in the database? Previously, when I am testing new branch creation, did I test whether the data is properly stored in the backend? No. We, we are deciding based on the message, new branch created successfully with ID 405 something. Just to have shown you, whatever the notifications, whatever the messages you see in the applications, all our programming techniques not a confirmation from the database. As it is a programming technique, no guarantee the data what I have entered properly updated in the backend. As a good tester, we should not stop testing by seeing a message. You have to go to backend and verify the data what I have entered properly affecting, properly storing in the backend or not. Understand the point here? Okay. So any of you inserted at least one or two sample records in any database application like Oracle or SQL Server or MySQL in our previous education? Did you inserted at least one record in any database system? No? No? What's your qualification? BSC Computer Science. RDBMS, there is one subject. You're from BTEC Computer Science. You have one semester subject, RDBMS, right? Then you have not inserted at least one record. It's one semester subject. Complete RDBMS. Okay. Any online team member? Did you inserted at least one sample record in any database system, either Oracle or MySQL or SQL Server? If you insert a record into any database application, insert into EMP value something. Will you receive a message employee created successfully? No, one row inserted, one row affected. No database will pop up a message saying that employee registered, employee updated or employee deleted. Whatever the notifications you are getting in the application, all our programming alerts, programming techniques, not a confirmation from the backend. I implemented a MS message box statement, similar way the programmer populate a notification. Uh, this is a programming technique, not a confirmation from the database. So it is not guaranteed that really the data what you have entered properly storing in the backend. Better to have a check the data what I have entered properly affecting, properly storing in the database or not. This kind of test approach is called DB testing, database level testing, shortly DB testing. Take the definition first. Performing various operations, performing various operations such as, such as adding records, 
updating records adding adding records updating records deleting records adding records updating records deleting records in the application in the application and checking and checking the corresponding data the corresponding data properly updating in the database or not properly updating in the database or not checking corresponding data properly affecting updating in the database or not is called database testing sir can you repeat again checking the data properly updating in the database or not performing different operations in the application listen previously what i did i created a new branch in the application similarly i can update a branch i can delete a branch check out this like adding a record i update some data i received the message branch updated successfully whatever the alerts you receive in the application all are programming alerts not a confirmation from the back end i deleted deleted successfully no guarantee it is really correctly deleted from the database this is what i said the definition performing various operations in the front end application adding records creating a new branch updating a branch deleting a branch then verifying these operations are properly affecting in the database or not such testing approach is called db testing look at this one here the question comes to you is every transaction i need to test in the back end no every operation you no need to confirm at back end truly speaking this branch registration i no need to verify in the back end because <clears throat> the new branch i registered displayed in the details page by right? here the new branch i created application designed in a way that it is showing the branch details after creating a branch i got a message new branch registered if really i don't have this kind of table in my application design i repeat in this primus bank application really i don't have a table no other option i have to go to back end and verify really the data is storing in the database or not but as per this primus bank application design branch details table available here definitely some way the new branch i created will appear i'll verify here i'll verify here if i don't have a table like this no other option i have to go to database and check you understand what i'm saying as per this primus bank application design the new branch is created the new employee is registered displayed here if really i don't have a table like this i don't have the employee list here in my application level i do not know really the employee registered successfully or not i have to go to database and check in this scenario i no need to verify in the back end because there is a table here the new employee i registered i received a message new employee created successfully 
as per this application design, all employees registered is appearing here. Whatever the data we are seeing in the employee details page, definitely application fetching from the database only. Meaning the data is properly registered in the database, otherwise it won't fetch. In my application design, I have an employee list. Hence, I no need to go to backend and verify really the data is updated in the backend or not. Assume that in this application design, I don't have an employee details page. So I can I do not know really the employee created or not. In this scenario, I have to go to a backend and verify. Hope you understand the point what I said. Online team understood what I said? Yes, sir. Yes, Every sir. functionality you no yes, need to sir. verify at backend. In the Primus Bank application, as per the Primus Bank application design, branches registered, employees registered, employee details, branch details, one page available. All branches information available, all employees information available. Definitely this application fetching the data from database only. If it is displayed in the employee details page, 100% it is stored in the backend. So again, I no need to verify in the backend. Supposing in my application, I don't have employee details page. So I cannot know, I do not know really the employee is updated in the database or not. I have to go to backend and check really the data is updated in the database or not. So every scenario, you no need to go to backend and test. That is purely based on your system design. In my application, I don't have a page called branch details. So I do not know really the branch is stored in the backend or no. So definitely I have to go to database and confirm. If I have branch details page, definitely the creator branch is appearing here. 100% it is storing in the backend because your application fetching the data from backend and showing. Again, I no need to go to database and verify. Based on your application design only, DDBC testing scenarios to be listed. This we have to check. This no, no need to check. Whatever the scenarios we have to check, definitely you have to go to a backend and verify. Right. Now, what is the necessity of doing this DB testing? What is the need of DB testing? Sir, excuse me. Yes. Sir, we can check it by entering login in and password also. Entering? Whether it is stored in database or not, that is also checked by entering login and add password also. Is your question meaning? What you are testing by entering username and password? Sir, that branch details. Where you test? In the Primus Bank app, sir. Hmm. If that table is not available, hmm. then going to database server, we can check it okay, by... You are, you are talking about... Uh... In the login section, we have created branches are appearing that you are going to test. That's what you're saying? Ah, yes, sir, right. Yes, see, correct. Somehow there is an option to verify in the application level, verify at the application level only, whatever the option available. If there is no chance to confirm at application level, final option, I have to go to database and confirm. You understand what he said? The newly registered branch appear in the login section, right? Select a branch name. The newly created branch, if appearing in the drop down list, the branch is created. Let me explain what he explained. Select a branch. The newly registered branch, I created something, Begum paid something. It's a big defect. White space is following. Branch names are not appearing in a ascending order. Correct? Yes. Branch names must display in ascending order. It should not allow the blanks. This is the difficulty here. We created a branch called Begum Pate. It went uh, upside, sir. It is there. If really all branches are listed in ascending order, Easy to select. Here, the expected branch names must be displayed in ascending order. In manual testing, one by one, we have to check manually. When it comes to automation, we build a program to 
verify the data are listed in ascending order or not. We discussed this program, right? How to verify the, the drop down list, the data are displayed in ascending order in the drop down list or not? No, sir. No, I'm not talking about you. Well, a few Selenium people are available in the class. For them, I have teach this. Okay. How to check the data displayed in ascending order or not? In Selenium, there is a code for that. In drop down list, how to verify the values are listed in ascending order or not? Anyhow. <clears throat> now, this is also one confirmation the branch is registered, right? This is also one confirmation backend page was created. I no need to verify in the backend. At application level, there is some option to confirm, confirm at application level. If there is no option at application level to confirm, no way you have to go to backend and confirm. You have to go to database and confirm it. Okay? Right. Now, why this database testing is needed, required? What is the necessity of doing DB testing? Let me explain this. Say in my application, I have a form. New employee registration functionality. Employee number. Name. Designation, salary, and submit button. I given a simple form. In my application under test, there is a functionality called new employee registration. Employee number, employee name, designation, salary, and the submit button. So definitely every business application will have its database, right? Whatever the data we are entering, that should be stored in the database. database of the application. In my application database, let's say there is a table, EMP. EMP is my table name. Maybe SQL Server or MySQL or Oracle or MongoDB or Sybase, Cybase, Informix, Ingress. What are these? Various database products in the market. Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server, MongoDB, Sybase, Informix, Ingress. There are many. DBase, Foxbase, Foxbow, Clipper. You'll get hundreds of names. But mostly used one are Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server. No RDBMS, MongoDB. Anyhow, whatever the database it may be, any database in the market, SQL is a common language to communicate with any RDBMS, structured query language. Same commands will work out for all 100 databases in the market. Every database must follow same SQL language. Otherwise, different products are using different syntaxes it is not a standard one. There is a computer standard called ANSI standards. Structured query language, a common language used to communicate with any RDBMS. Employee number, employee name, designation, salary, let's say there are some fields here. Now, I am asked to verify the employee registration functionality working or not. A tester asked to verify the employee registration functionality working or not. I enter some employee number. I enter some employee name, some designation, some salary, and I click submit button. System displayed a message, new employee created successfully. System displayed a message, new employee created successfully. Generally, we, as a tester, we assume functionality is working. 
but just now I have shown you whatever the notifications you receive in the application, all are VB scripting alerts, Java scripting alerts, not a confirmation from the backend. So it is not guaranteed really the data is storing in the backend. If I have an option at application level to confirm this, I'll confirm at application level. If I don't have a chance to confirm at UI level, application level, I have to go to database and confirm. Listen. A programmer build a code like this. This is a UI, right? Employee registration form UI, database, application logic. The employee registration.prg program. The programmer declares some variables A, B, C, D. The A equal to whatever the data entered here, programmer taking into a variable called A. A equal to employee number. B equal to employee name. C equal to designation. The D equal to salary. If the submit button is click, if the submit button is clicked by the end user, what will be happen? Insert into EMP. What is this EMP? Employee. Database. Database table name. The data has to be inserted into the database. Table name. Yes, Insert into that EMP table. Values a comma b comma c comma d. After inserting the data into backend, message box, notification. New employee created successfully the notification. Now this is maybe simple logic I have given. When the user clicks submit button, insert the data into database table, insert into EMP values a comma b comma c comma d. Then so I alert new employee created successfully. This is how generally programmer will write the code. Let's assume your programmer not implemented this code. No insert statement is implemented. What happened? Without inserting anything into the backend, you receive a message. New employee created successfully, but nothing will be stored in the database or, or the code implemented. There is some syntax mistake in this code. For example, on error, resume next. If it is VBScript, on error, if any error occurred while executing the code, skip the statement that producing the error, go with the next statement. This is exceptional handling mechanism in VBScript. If it is Java, try catch. Try this code. Try to insert the data into a backend. If not able to insert, go to catch block some other way. Finally, some exceptional handling mechanism was implemented. There is some syntax error, syntax error in the statement insert into EMP. Because of the exceptional handling mechanism, there is an error occurred. The statement will be skipped. It will go with the next statement. Finally, this statement will not be executed because of the syntax error, but next statement will be executed. What is that statement? No, Display no. alert. Without inserting anything into the backend, you will get a notification employee created successfully. It's another possibility. Another possibility. The statement is impl implemented, but implemented like this. But implemented like this. Insert into EMP table values a comma c comma b comma d. What happened? A comma c comma b comma d. Name stored in designation field. Designation stored in name field. Employee will be registered in the backend, but wrong values will be stored. Name stored in designation. Designation will store in name. But I am not verifying in the database level. But after storing the data in backend, I receive a message, new employee created successfully. I explained you the practical reasons for, technical reasons for doing, confirming a database level. At my application level, there is an option to confirm enough, application level enough. At my application level, there is no option to confirm. I have to go to database and verify 
the data what I have entered, the data what I have updated, the data what I have deleted properly affecting in the database or not. Such testing method is called DB testing, DB level testing, DB testing. Database level testing shortly called DB testing. Got it? So why DB testing is required? Take the topic. <coughs> Why DB testing is required? Take some short notes like this. In general, in general, a tester confirms, a tester confirms if functionality is working or not. If functionality is working or no, based on the messages, based on the messages displayed by the, based on the messages displayed by the application under test, based on the messages displayed by the application under test. So in general, we confirm a functionality working or not by seeing the notifications displayed by the application. For example, note on this form. Note on this diagram, I'll give the notes based on this. For example, employee registration form, database table, message new employee created. For example, sir, course. I ask you to take this diagram. Based on the diagram, I'll continue the notes. Taken. Now contain the notes in this way. Right, continue. To check this employee registration functionality, to check this employee registration functionality, to check this employee registration functionality, we enter, we enter a valid employee number, employee name, designation, Salary and click submit. To check this employee registration functionality, we enter a valid employee number, employee name, designation, salary, and click submit. Continuation. If the system displayed a message, if the system displayed a message, new employee created successfully if the system displayed a message new employee created successfully we assume we assume this functionality working we assume this functionality is working We assume this functionality is working. Condition. But here, but here, this message is a programming technique. 
this message is a programming technique not a confirmation from the database this message is a programming technique not a confirmation from the database not a confirmation from the database so it is not guaranteed that so it is not guaranteed that it is not guaranteed that really the data is storing in the database this message is a programming technique not a confirmation from the database so it is not guaranteed that really the data is storing in the database it is not guaranteed that really the data is storing in the database to confirm this to confirm this database testing required to confirm this database testing db testing required <coughs> clear about this right hope you understood the purpose right right in order to carry out db testing we should have some sql knowledge database commands knowledge okay you answer me as a tester do you create a database no as a tester do we create a database no no, no sir no. by the time you are testing already application constructed constructed application given to you for test database available tables available procedures tickers cluster indexes everything is created by the db developers database developer while building the product first database to be created later forms if i want to develop a form employee registration form if there is no database how i insert how i write the logic to insert the data into database table meaning database already created tables already created database programming already made by db developers you have received the application for testing to verify some features at my application level there is no option i have to go to go to database and verify that is our job we are not going to create a database we are not going to create tables we are not going to write any database programs we have to fetch the data from database we have to retrieve the data from database to confirm some functionalities in order to retrieve the data from database oracle or mysql or sql server whatever there is one command called select select command in sql select command used to fetch data from any database application if you are good in the select command confidently you can say i know little about database whatever required for testing because we are not going to insert data into the database table we never delete the data from database table we are not going to create databases and tables we retrieve the data from databases to verify the function application level functionalities to fetch the data from any database application product product present in the market select statement will be used let me introduce you sql select statement which is used to retrieve the data from database and do you have the clarity If you are a developer, you need to learn some database basics also. How to create a table? How to create a, I mean, database program, store procedures, functions, everything. How to insert data? How to update data? How to delete data? Because when you are building a product, supposing I am developing employee registration form, I am a developer. When the user clicks submit button, data to be inserted into the backend. Inside the submit button, I will write the code to insert the data into database. when i click update button data to be updated when i click delete button data to be deleted if i do not know how to insert data update update data delete data i cannot build the product i'm talking about development developer should know this but as a tester i am going to retrieve some data from databases to confirm my functionality is working as expected or not 
in order to retrieve the data from any database product in the market, SQL select statement will be used. So now, let me introduce select statement in deep, complete select statement. Understand the point? You know database also a big story. The Oracle course about two months or two and a half months, right? If you learn, if you want to learn the entire Oracle, entire SQL server, you need to spend about minimum two to three months of time. Because it is one semester subject, one year subject, RDBMS. Here, my agenda is not teaching you entire RDBMS, teaching you only select command, how to retrieve the data from database. Got it? Right. The purpose of today's session and tomorrow's session, in any interview, if somebody asks you, do you know about database? Do you know SQL? To say that, I know about SQL select statement, which is required to carry out DB testing. To say that answer, today and tomorrow session will be helpful. Also, to highlight one point in your profile summary, I have knowledge about database commands required for doing DB testing. To highlight these two points only, today and tomorrow we are focusing. Got it? So you make a note, can you explain once? You're talking about profile summary? Uh, no, no, no. I have knowledge in SQL. I have knowledge in SQL. Basic SQL commands required for doing database testing. To highlight the point in your profile, okay, today and tomorrow session will be helpful. In an interview, there you received a question, do you know anything about SQL? To say that, I know SQL select statement, which is required for doing DB testing. More than this, even internet also will not expect. Because they already know we are not developers. Instead of saying, no, I do not know. Today and tomorrow session would be helpful. I know little about SQL, whatever required for testing. That's it. Got it? That is the agenda. If I want to teach you entire database, I need two months of time. Like your manual testing or selling course. What is data? What is information and everything? How to create a database? how to rename a database, how to create a table, how to rename a table, how to insert that table. I can, but that's not required for you. That is not our agenda, right? For your information, even Java developers and Python developers are also learning only little SQL. DB developer will learn everything. In database level also DB admin. Hope you know about People will learn some Oracle DBA, SQL DBA. They are database administrators, database tuning, database performance, database administration part. That is different. DB admin is different. DB developer will learn everything. DB admin do not know programming. Database administrator do not know coding, programming. Only administering, creating databases, creating login account, setting the permission, backup, Restore, database fine tuning. There are many activities. Database plays a major role in performance of the product. DB admin level people will take care of it. Like system admin, Linux admin. DB developers will do backend. You know, in software development, UI developed by user interfaces are created by UI developers. The people who are good in Photoshop, logos, background colors, font colors, pictures, images, UI developers will do. HTML people, JavaScript, Photoshop, Angular, these are the technologies required for UI development. These people do not know server-side logic. PHP people, Python people, Java people will create server-side logic. Application developers, these people are called. UI developers, application developers, DB developers who create the databases, procedures, triggers, everything. These people are called database developers, that MySQL people are SQL server people are Oracle people. We are testers. Even developer also, app developer also will have only little idea, not extensive idea. Right. See. Structured query language, which is a common language used to communicate with any RDBMS. 
in this SQL, there are many commands. Select is a command used to retrieve the data from database application. Let us learn this select command in detail. Note of this. SQL stands for SQL stands for Structured Query Language, Structured Query Language, Structured Query Language, which is a common language, which is a common language to communicate with, which is a common language used to communicate with, Various database products, various database products like various database products like Oracle, SQL Server, Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, etc. Oracle. Okay, SQL Server, MySQL, etc. Any RDBM is present in the market, SQL select command used to <coughs> retrieve the data from the database. Structured query language is a common language like English to communicate with all products available in the market. Okay, continuation. Next. Select statement, select statement, select statement, use, use to retrieve the data from database tables. Select statement, use to retrieve the data from database tables. Select statement used to retrieve the data from database tables. Right. Now, let us learn about select statement, how to use the select statement to fetch the data from database tables. To teach you the select statement, I need one database product, either Oracle. To write and execute the SQL commands, I need one database software. It may be Oracle or MySQL or SQL Server, SQL Server. In my system, I have SQL Server installed. I'm explaining you the select statement in SQL Server. Whatever the software it can be, select statement is same. Because the Primus Bank application database is SQL Server database. A Primus Bank application made using ASP.NET. Technology ASP.NET. Database is SQL Server. I log into Primus Bank application database server. New query, SQL query. Here I have to write the queries and execute the queries. Queries meaning statements. In the database band DB, it is our actually Primus Bank application database. To teach basic SQL statement, previously I created some dummy tables here, EMP and DEPT. These are data present in the EMP table.
I am pressing F5. F5 is the shortcut to run. Otherwise, I have to click on like this execute. These are sample data available in the DEPT table. These two small tables I want to use to teach you about the select statement. Maybe after learning this, we can write one or two comments on the bank branches table where actually the data is getting stored. The table name bank branches where all branches data is getting stored. Previously, I created one branch with the name Begum Pay. System generated some ID, I think, 405? 105. 105? Yes. Yes, sir. 405 only. No, sir, 405. Please observe here. These are data I have entered. So the branch properly stored in the backend database, correct? In my application level, there is no option for me to confirm branch created or not. I will come to the database of the product. This kind of command I will execute to confirm the really the branch is created or not. We are learning how to develop this kind of commands. That's it. Got it? Already I am running the command. But you have a confusion of what he is writing. Correct? The topic is how to construct this kind of commands. That's what we are learning. First, let me explain the syntax of the select command. What is syntax generally? In programming terminology, C or Java or Python or SQL or Oracle, what is the meaning of syntax? Query or a statement. A computer understandable format. If you give a command to the computer in its understandable format, then only it will execute, otherwise it will Error. I didn't I didn't understand what you said. Any software application you are using, programming languages, database languages, all are robots. Already designed, correct? Already designed. In the robot memory, there are say thousand commands. Thousand commands are stored. You are also giving a command only on the same format. It will search where is the command and respond. If the format you are giving is not available in the computer mind, it throws an error. Computer understandable format, rules, rules. You must follow the rules. Computer is a designed system. You have to follow the rules, then only the computer will respond. Otherwise, no, it's a machine. The machine has some commands inside. You are also giving the command in the same format, it will respond. Otherwise, no because it is a robot. Computer understandable format is called syntax. Some rules, nothing but syntaxes, right. Anybody, what is the syntax of select statement, online team? Select star from table. Uh, Sorry? Select star, star from, from table. Name. Star, star from table name. Select the required column names from table name. Hmm. Any other format? Before I start the session, I asked you, nobody responded. Now today, now if we, all people are saying the syntaxes. Okay then. <laughs> what is the syntax? Repeat. Select, Select start, start from, from table name. Select star from table name. Okay. What is star here? Selecting all the uh, a table will have columns. columns. I write the command here. Select star from table name, say EMP. The EMP table will have some rows and columns. My question, what is the star? All rows? All, all columns. columns? 
columns. All rows and columns. A table will have rows, also columns. What is the meaning of star? All rows, all columns, otherwise all rows and columns. All rows and columns. All rows and columns. All rows and columns. No, all columns only. Right. All columns, not all rows and columns. Okay, that is an. I'm giving you the first complete syntax of it. Select. You know, generally in any computer syntaxes, something is mentioned inside the square bracket, it is optional. Optional. You can use it or you can skip it. Select all. Distinct. Top N. Start. Or columns. From table name. Where. Where condition group by column or columns order by column or columns. Ascending or descending. This is the complete syntax of the select statement. Select all distinct top end star or column from table name, where condition, group by a single column or multiple columns, order by column or columns, ascending or descending. Let me explain all of these options. First, let me explain what is this all. Select all. All rows, star, all columns from the table name EMP. Select all rows, all columns from the table name EMP. Actually, this is a command. See, I'm executing it. Actually, this is the command. Select all rows, star, all columns from the table name EMP. By default, select statement will retrieve all the rows. By default, select command retrieve all of the rows in the table. So every time you no need to say select all. Select All not required. By, by default, select command retrieve all the rows. Star from table name EMP. EMP. Meaning, select all the rows, all columns from the table EMP. Because here all is optional. Understand the point here? I'm writing here itself the notes. Then I'll upload into our LMS. By default, you want to take the notes? You want to take the notes? Yes, sir. Take it then. All. I'll explain all of the options for my one. Take the first one, all. All is default with select statement. All is default with select statement. All is default with select statement. 
default we select statement which retrieves which retrieves all rows present in the table which retrieves all rows present in the table all is default we select statement which retrieves all rows present in the table see here select all rows as all is default by default it is retrieving all of the rows every time i no need to use all but here actually it is all rows all columns from emp table let's see this select all rows no i do not wanted all columns i wanted only employee number column employee name column of the emp table you see the difference now hope you understand star doesn't means all rows and columns star meaning only columns in place of star i given only two column names now it is not retrieving all columns it is retrieving only these two columns hope you understood this right here if i use star what happened all columns are retrieved so star meaning all columns not all rows and columns got it <clears throat> comments you no need to take comments i'll upload into lms notes about the select statement you can take so all is default with select statement it is used to retrieve all rows of the table this command and this command finally produce the same output last command all rows but only specified column not all columns right what is the next option here distinct listen select all rows only department number from the emp table i'll do one thing first i go for star once you observe the data then i'll change the command we have employee number employee name designation salary department number i do not want it all of the columns i wanted only the department number column from the emp table select all department numbers available in the emp table there are eight records 10 10 10 20 for all employees corresponding department number listed here in place of all what is the other keyword distinct, distinct. generally what is the meaning of distinct is distinct from others Remove the duplicates. Unique. Different. Duplicates are eliminated. Only unique records retrieved from the table. Duplicates are eliminated in the results. Only unique department number. Ten multiple times are repeated, right? Twenty multiple times are repeated. All department numbers meaning these. I wanted only unique department numbers. duplicates i want to eliminate this take it distinct it is used to retrieve it is used to retrieve only unique records from the table only unique records from the table only unique records from the table unique records from the table it is used to retrieve only unique records from the table all departments 
unique departments. Right. What's the next one here? Top N. Top N. In the name itself very clear. Select all rows, all columns from the EMP table. All rows, all columns from the EMP table. Select top one, top one row, not all rows. In place of all, I'm using top one, not all, top one, meaning? Only first column. Only first, first row. But all columns from the EMP table. Only first row is a try. Select top two. Top two records, but all columns from the EMP table. First two records. Select top three records. I do not want it all columns, only top three. Employee number, employee name I wanted, not reminding. Hope you understood this, what is top N. Take it, top N. Here N is how many records you want to fetch from the beginning. Top N. It is used to retrieve. It is used to retrieve the specified number of the specified number of beginning records from the table. Specified number of beginning records from the table. It is used to retrieve specified number of beginning records from the table. Okay. First two records, but all columns. Top two records, all columns. Top three records, I do not want it all columns, only employee number and employee name. Okay? Right. I hope by this time you understand what is top. It is used to retrieve all columns of the table, not all rows and columns. By default, all is available, all rows, it is retrieving, hence we are not using all. Actually, star only for columns. To pre observe the previous command, in place of star, I use only two columns. We are not getting all columns, only two columns we are getting. Take it, star. It is used to retrieve. It is used to retrieve. All records, sorry, sorry, sorry. It is used to retry all, all columns, all columns present in the table. All columns present in the table. Continuously. If you want to retrieve, if you want to retrieve only few columns, only few columns, if you want to retrieve only few columns, specify the column names. Specify column names in place of star. Specify column names in place of star. Specify column names in place of star. Now, 
Hope you understood this part also, right? Star retrieving all columns of the table. I do not want it all. I wanted only one or two or few. In place of star, I give the column names. If I are retrieving multiple columns, columns must be separated with a comma. Right. From the table name, you know from which table you want to fetch the data. Take it, where condition. I think I no need to explain about it. Where condition, general condition meaning filter. Where condition. Yes, what it is? Any online team member? What is where condition? Which is easy to filter Microsoft the record. Excel also, you apply a filter, right? There are about 20 records. I wanted only some records. You create a filter, condition. Same way, very high priority scenarios. Very high priority test cases. Only that effect with the status close. Like condition it is. It is used to retrieve only the records matching the given condition. Select all rows, all columns from EMP table. There are eight rows here. Select star from EMP, all columns from EMP table. Where yeah. some condition? Supposing I'm giving a condition like where employee number equal to generally in SQL language, strings must be enclosed in single quotes, not in double quotes. Java it is in double quotes. Only the records matching the given condition. Where EMP name equal to, you want something, John. Select star from EMP. Where department number equal to 10. Only record employees who are working in department number 10. Select star from EMP where the people who are drawing about 20,000 salary I wanted. Where salary is about greater than 20,000. Only the records matching the given condition will be retrieved out of eight. Take it, where condition? Where condition? It is used to retrieve, it is used to retrieve only the records only the records matching the given condition. It is used to retrieve only the records matching the given condition. It is used to retrieve only the records matching the given condition. See here, this command retrieve everything. I wanted only the employee or employees whose employee number is 001. One record will match with the value E001, employee number equal to E001. I want to retrieve the data from the EMP table whose employee name is John. I want to retrieve the employees whose department number 10. Not all records, only employee number employee name, salary, from the EMP table, where, depart, where the employee who is, salary, who is drawing a salary less than 20,000, who are drawing below 20,000 salary. I wanted employee number, employee name and salary, not everything. I say only employee name and salary, who are drawing below 20,000. All employees who are drawing above 20,000. Some condition based on your data requirement, you can implement the required condition. Finally, 
it is used to retrieve only the records matching the given condition. <laughs> Understood this right? Right. We learn till this point. This confirm all these options are clear? Yes. yes sir. All yes, is sir. by default we select state. Yes, sir. Every time we need to say all. By default, select command retrieve all of the rows in the table. I want to eliminate the duplicates in the result. I go for distinct. I want to retrieve only unique records from the table. Distinct. I want to retrieve first record, first two record, first n records. I go for Top one, top two, top ten, top n. Here n is how many records you want to fetch from the beginning. All columns of the table. I wanted only EMP number, EMP name. In place of star, we give the column names separated with a comma from the table name. A table has thousand records. I wanted only records matching the given condition, where condition. Now, before I explain this group by, in order to understand group by, what do you mean by group by? What do you mean by group by? What is group by? Come here. Number of columns in the table. No, 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 no. Sorting. Count the number of students available in this classroom. I wanted count of students available in this classroom. Group by gender. Okay. Group by gender. Group by gender. Understand? What is that? How many? Male students, how many? Female students. Group by, divide by, divide based on the gender. Thank you. Total data I want to divide by a particular column name. After dividing, I wanted to perform some action. Maybe count. Who is drawing max salary, minimum salary, average salary, some, something like this. Total, there are about hundreds of records in the table. Let's say, let's say, 100 people working in a company. In the EMP table, I have 100 records. In the EMP table, I have 100 records. These 100 employees working for different departments. Some people working in accounts department, department number 10. For every record, I have a department number. This employee working in which department name, which department 10, or say accounts. Some people working in sales, department number 20. Few people working in purchase, department number 30. Few people working in other department, admin, admin department, administration. Totally four departments in this company. Say for example, there are, there are about 100 people. If my command is select count of stars from table name EMP, value will be 100. Total count, 100. No, I want department-wise employee count. How many people working in admin department? How many people working in sales department? How many people working in purchase department? Select department number I wanted. Department number comma, count from the table name EMP. This EMP table I have to group by, divide by department number. Group by DPIT number. Divide the table by department number. After dividing the table data, then use a count function. The main table divided into subtables based on the given column name, group by department number. Divide the main table, 100 records, by the department number. After dividing count, that is group by. 
Have you understood this right? Listen. Select. Count of stars from EMP. This function shall explain first listen. Count of star. Count will return number of records available in the table. How many are there? Eight. We observe there are eight records in the EMP table. There are eight records. Count will return number of records in the table. There are eight. There are three departments in the EPT table. This will return count of records in the given table, the EPT table. There are three. Now here, totally eight employees are there, I agree. But I want a department-wise employee count. Manually, you tell me. Totally, how many departments we have here? Unique department? Three. 10, 20, null. One employee in the bench, no department is assigned. Null, say. There are three unique departments here. How many people in department number 10? Three. In 20, in null, one. Together, eight. Same group I will do. Select first department number because I want a department wise employee account. Select department number. Count of star from the table name EMP. Divide this EMP table by department number. Null department, one employee. Department number 10, three people. Department number 24 people. Together, eight people. Select sum of salary from EMP. This will sum all complete salary column of the table. All eight people salary together 196,000. There are eight people. Sum of salary, sum the salary of all records. I wanted department wise total salary. Select department number. Sum of, sum of salary. salary from the EMP table. This EMP table I have to group by department number. Null department, 12,000. Also, I can do one thing. Count of star, also sum of salary. In null department, only one employee is salary 12,000. Department number 10, there are three people working, their total salary 54,000. Department number 24 people working, their total salary is 1,30,000. It's a breakout. Group the records, then perform the aggregate function. Right. I'll stop here today. Tomorrow I'll explain this topic again. There are some aggregate function. Count, min, max, average, sum. After explaining these functions, I'll continue the topic again group by in detail. Also, we'll discuss about order by ascending, descending. After learning this complete subject, I will execute some DB testing scenarios in a Primus Bank or in Orange HR and some other application to conclude the topic. After learning the remaining portion, I'll explain one or two DB testing scenarios at application level, where we use these commands in testing. Right. I stop here. We'll continue tomorrow. Same timing. Thank you. Thank you, online team. We'll continue tomorrow.
tomorrow after completion of the notes, I mean, this I'll upload into LMS. Okay? I log off here, we'll continue tomorrow. Thank you.